Hello and welcome back. In this video, our goal is to apply Rolle's theorem to this function on this interval. And to do this, we need to make sure we always verify the hypotheses of the theorem before we go ahead and pursue our values. So the first hypothesis is continuity on the closed interval. And it should be pretty clear to us that f of x is continuous on the interval from 0 to pi because it's just the sum of 1 plus the square of a trig function. Next thing to do is look at differentiability. And to do that, we need to find the derivative of this function so we can study it. Well, the derivative of 1 is 0. And then the derivative of sine squared is 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x using the chain rule. Since that's a product of sine and cosine, we know that that is always going to be defined and it's never going to be an issue with cusps or corners or anything else because, again, we're looking at nice, smooth functions being multiplied. So therefore, we're going to have our function f of x being differentiable. on all values of x, but in particular on the open interval from 0 to pi. The last thing to check for a Rolle's theorem, hypothesis-wise, is the value of the function at our two endpoints. So we need to calculate f of 0 and calculate f of pi and make sure that they are equal to each other. Well, f of 0 is just 1 plus the sine of 0 squared, so that's going to be just a value of 1. And f of pi is 1 plus the sine of pi squared, which is 0 as well, so that's 1 plus 0. And since these two function values agree, we can apply Rolle's theorem. So we've got continuity, differentiability, and the endpoints having the same function value. So then, therefore, there exist at least one value c in the open interval such that our derivative at that location is equal to zero. And to find this location, we just set our derivative equal to zero. So f prime of x, which we said earlier, is 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x is equal to zero. That's already written in the simplest form we can, besides getting into double angles, which is not necessary. So we have the sine of x equal to 0. We need to find those values. Or we have to look at where the cosine of x is equal to 0. Well, we know the sine of x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 and pi. And we know that the cosine of x is going to be equal to 0 when x is equal to pi over 2 and at 3 pi over 2. Well, the number 3 pi over 2 is outside of our interval, so we can exclude it. And we already checked out 0 and pi earlier, so we already know those numbers are there. So the only number in the interval that's open is pi over 2. So therefore, we know that c equals pi over 2 which is in the interval from 0 to pi, is the number c guaranteed to exist by Rolle's theorem. That's the number that we have a horizontal tangent line for our function.